What's up everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. And today we got a real cool video for you. We're going to be unboxing the new Ryzen 5 uh, 5600. So this is going to be the 5000 series Zen 3. And if you don't know already, uh, this is the way to go if you can get them. Either the Ryzen 5, 7, or the two versions of the 9 they have. But this is where it's at. Zen 3, you're getting so much uh performance and for a really good price i got this for three hundred dollars um in this video we're just gonna unbox it but i got this um the b550 motherboard and then i got this case right here the 4000d airflow case um i'm gonna be doing unboxing to all those and then we're gonna be taking the 2060 super i got out of there uh the power supply and the case fans, we're just going to transfer that over to here with our new motherboard, CPU, um, the new CPU cooler. Uh, so hopefully that should be a cool video, guys. So if you want to catch that one, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, turn on the post notifications so you know whenever I come out with brand new videos. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's unbox this Ryzen 5600X. Um, let's hop on the table and I'm going to show you what's in the package. All right, everybody, so we got the new Ryzen 5600 here. Um, you can see it's a 5000 series processor. This is what it looks like. All right, so let's open this up. Um, now, if you don't know what a 5000 series processor is, it is just basically their new Zen 3. Um, it, that doesn't mean generation. Now, generation is different than Zen. This is technically fifth generation. That's why it says 5000 series, right? Um, but the big thing with Zen 3 is it's a new architecture, right? They've optimized stuff to make it faster and better. Um, and that's what we're really looking for. That's why I got a Ryzen 5 5600 over a Ryzen 9 3600 or 3900 because um, of the Zen 3 architecture that's what I wanted right um, honestly I wanted to get a Ryzen 9 or a Ryzen 7 in the 5000 series but you just can't really find them unless you want to pay a crazy amount um, but so far we got the CPU out got it right here okay um, this is gonna be the cooler so we're gonna go ahead and open that up right now um, you also got a couple instructions and stuff, but this is an AMD stock cooler. Uh, they're not the best. They'll definitely work. I mean, they wouldn't send them out with the processors if they didn't work, right? But this is what it looks like. It's just a fan and a heat sink, okay? Nothing special. It says AMD on it. And be careful and don't do what I just did and um, get a fingerprint on that thermal paste there definitely want to watch out for that so when you're putting it back in if you do you want to make sure it goes in the right way with this other piece of plastic that they put in so we're just gonna make sure it's the right way we're gonna put it back in there so we don't get no smudges on there while we're um, before we install it right So we got that back in the box. Now, here's the bad boy right here. This is what we're looking for. The Ryzen 5 5600X. It's amazing CPU. Um, be sure to check back on the channel because I'm going to be making a lot of videos on this. We're going to be testing it to the limits. Um, I really don't have a better graphics card than a 2060 Super right now. Um, I really want to get like a 3090, obviously, but... That probably ain't going to happen anytime soon. Um, definitely going to try to get my hands on a 3080 or a 6800, 6900 XT from AMD. But as of now, the 2060 Super is going to have to work. Um, be sure to check back on the channel. We're going to be doing all types of videos with PC, PC parts, building, and everything in between. Um, thanks for watching the video, guys. I just wanted to do this quick little unboxing, show you what's in it. And be sure to check back for all my other videos coming out when I put this in my new case 4000D Airflow from Corsair. 
and my new motherboard B550. So we're going to throw them together and put it with the 2060 Super and call it a day. Um, other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions or concerns, just put them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to you. I usually get back to my comments pretty quick, right? Um, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.